most seven E's, receiving students and teachers. Thank you, you may sit down. Seven E's and receiving students. Just to recap on our previous lesson. All right, change 0 0.82 into a fraction. Then it says simplify. So receiving students, I'd like you to complete that or just see if you can change this decimal number into a fraction. I'll just give you one minute. 0 0.82 into a fraction. Change that decimal into a fraction. Okay, in your groups quickly. I said only one minute, so I should have the answer. Okay, good, that group over there has finished. This group here has also finished. Receiving students, what about you? Have you finished? All right, let's have the answer from Isaac's group. Okay. 82 over 100, simplified by 41 over 50. Sorry, Isaac, can you come again? What did you say, the last part, with simplifying? Um, 82 over 100 divided by 41, to 41 over 50. Okay, thank you, Isaac. All right. Okay, his, his group, or he said 82 over 100 and then divide by 41 over 50. Is he correct in saying that? Okay, let's have um, Alan's group. Just help, help them out. 21 over 25. Well, now they're coming up with a different answer, 21 over 25. Ruben, Ruben's group. 41 over 100, uh, 50. Okay, 41 over 50. Isaac, your, your group's answer is correct, but it's the way you explained it, okay? so. Good, 82 over 100, and then you simplify. Your answer should be 41 over 50, your simplified answer. Okay, seven is and receiving students. Here you are dividing by four or two? Two. Two, two into 82 is 41, two into 100 is 50, 41 over 50. Okay, so that's your simplified answer, all right, good. Now, the next question, which I told you receiving students and seven is to do for your homework. Change 17 over 20 into a decimal. Change 17 over 20 into a decimal. Okay, which group will give us the answer? Okay, it looks like all the groups on the, the, the far end over here are giving us answers. What about these groups here on this side? All right, from the far end there, um, Clement, your group. All right, can you give us your answer? 8.85. All right, Clement's group is saying 8.85. 8.85, okay. What about you others? Do you have different answers receiving students? Donald, what about your group? Any answer from you? From your group? Okay, Jubilee's group. 0 
Okay, 0 0.85. Okay, let's just go through our go through the two answers. Okay, so 17 over 20. All right. We have the denominator which will be the divisor. Okay? So 20 will be out here, 17 will be here. So 20 to 17 cannot go, so we put a zero. All right, we put a zero. Now 20 into zero is zero, so we have 17. Now don't forget your decimal point, zero point. Now you bring a zero, okay, to make it bigger, 170. So 20 into 170 is eight. So 20 times 8 is 160. Okay, subtract 10. Now you bring down 0. 20 into 100 is 5. So 20 times 5 is 100. So your decimal number should be 0 0.85. Okay, good. Seven is and receiving students. So we just recapped on how to change a decimal into a fraction and how to change a fraction into a decimal. All right, now in today's lesson, okay, before we do that, in our previous activity class, we, we dealt with money. So that means every day, every day we use decimals, huh? Don't you realize that? Every day we use decimals in the form of money, okay? So some of us, we don't realize that you know, every day in our lives, we use decimals. One kina, one kina 20 toya, two kina 50. You bring how much to school? 20 kina 50 toya, all right? Then you are dealing with decimals, so. That's one thing seven is, and we seem students that we don't realize that we use decimals every day. When we go to the store, you buy things at the store, it's worth an amount. Okay, in today's lesson, today's lesson is on fraction of an amount. Okay, class, all right, in your workbook, seven is, and receiving students, receiving students, page 39 of your workbook, fraction of an amount, lesson 15. Now, I will just, we're going to do a uh, simple, Example, all right, simple example of working out a fraction of an amount. So here, one-fifth of 10, all right? Seven is and receiving students. One-fifth of 10, what will be my answer? <coughs> Two? Do you others agree, class? Okay, one fifth of 10. Let's try. One over five. Of sign, oh, sorry, the of changes into, okay, multiplication sign times 10, what? You can say 10 over one now, because 10 over one is simply 10. So. We simplify. Remember, cross simplify. Five into five is one. Five into ten is two. Okay, which is two or two whole. All right. Now we're going in today's lesson. We're going to be looking at examples of fractions of an amount. Okay. Now, let's say we have a fraction of an amount half of one kina. All right, receiving students, and seven is. Okay, half of one kina. Now, I have one kina. We have one kina coins, all right? One kina coins up here. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Now, who can come up here and just maybe give us the answer using these coins here? or show to the class, receiving students. Show to the receiving students what is a half of one kina. All right, let's have, um, we'll have one from this group. Nola? 
650 toya. Okay, Nola, can you come up here to the front and just show to the receiving students or show to the class with this one kina coins? You said 50 toya, so. Okay, so half of one kina is 50 toya. Okay, class, did you get that? Half? Okay, before we, before we, we have the one kina coins like this, all right? Okay, half of one kina, 50 toya. 50 and 50 makes one kina. Is that correct? Okay. Okay, let's try another example. Okay, before we try that, other example, let's see how we got 50 toya. Now remember, 100 toyas, they make up one kina. It's just a hint. 100 toyas make up one kina. So half of one kina, a half times 100 over one. Remember 100 toyas is equal to one kina. So when I simplify, I cross simplify, 2 into 2 is 1, 2 into 100 is 50. 50 over 1, which is 50 toya. Okay? You understand? Okay, good. So half of 1 kina is 50 toya. Now, let's go to the next one. What's a quarter of 1 meter? 70s and receiving students. Okay, here I have a 1 meter ruler here. Okay? I have a 1 meter ruler here. Can anyone tell us what is a quarter, or show to us using this ruler, receiving students, one quarter? So again, I have a one meter ruler. Okay, now I have the hint here which says 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. Now who can come up and demonstrate to us or show us one quarter? All right. Let's have um, John. Can you point? Okay. Thank you, John. All right. John pointed to 25 centimeters. Is he correct? Yes. All right. The question read, or oh, the question is one quarter of one meter. So John said 25 centimeters. So let's check if he's correct. Okay. Remember. I gave you the hint, 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. So a quarter times 100 over one, because it's 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. So a quarter, simplify, 0 0.4 is one, 0 0.200 is 25. So 25 over one is 25 what? Centimeters. centimeters. Okay, 25 centimeters. In today's lesson, class and seven, uh, sorry, receiving students, we are going to go through activities, just three activities on how to get the fraction of an amount, a quantity, or, yeah, okay. Now let's, we'll have you to calculate these exercises. Exercise one, uh, receiving students, one third of 36 kina. Okay, one third of 36 kina. Okay, receiving students, exercise one, one third of 36 kina. I'd like you to copy that one down quickly. Okay, receiving students, that this exercise is taken from your workbook, one third of 36, 
but we just made changes to that on page um, 39, so not 39, page 40. Okay, exercise one. Okay, exercise 3A, receiving students, uh, sorry, receiving teachers. Exercise 3A is taken from your workbook, page 41. 9 tenth of one meter, seven is. Can you copy this one down quickly? And you also have it in your workbook there, A. 9 tenth of one meter. And the other exercise. Um, exercise 3C. 7 over 20, 720 of 1 kilogram. So receiving teachers, I've taken those exercises from page 41 of your workbook. Exercise 1A, sorry not 1A, but exercise 1 and exercise 3A and C. All right, I'd like you to work in your groups to get your answer. Receiving students, if you can work in your groups, and then you can have your work displayed on the board or write your answers on the board. Okay, and don't forget, I've also given you the hint for each exercise. For example, this one here, 3C, how many grams is equal to one kilogram?
All right, we'll have one group to do um, the first one, exercise one. Would like to come up, show you're working out on the board. Okay. Um, Malvin, Malvin, your group. Can we have one from you come up?
Exercise one. Exercise one, are they correct? Yes. One third of 36 kina. Okay, let's see. When we are working out, make sure you're working out too, it's very important, okay? Just cross check with the working out here on the board. All right, class, look up here. Seven is receiving students. So one third of 36 kina, we rewrite it as one third times 36 over one. Okay, don't forget your equal sign. Okay, equal sign. One third times 36, and then from there you can, what? Simplify, okay? You, are, you simplify or you cross simplify, cross cancel. Three into three is one, three into 36 is 12. Now, don't forget, you have to, the numerators and the den denominators. So one and 12, that means it's one times 12 is 12 over one, which is 12. Don't forget your unit sign. I mean your unit. Kina sign. Okay. So your answer is 12 kina. Very good. Okay, give them two big claps. Okay, good. Next one. Nine tenths of one meter. Are they correct? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's cross check. Okay, remember I gave you the hint. How many centimeters is equal to one meter? How many? 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. Now, it reads nine tenths of one meter. So you cannot have your answer as 90 meters because how can it be 90 meters when the question is nine tenths of one meter? So you have to think of these things. So, nine over 10 times 100 over 1, which is equal to, and then you simplify, 10 and 100. 10 into 10 is 1, 10 into 100 is 10. 9 times 10 is 90 over 1, 90, 90 centimeters. So 9 tenths of 1 meter is 90 centimeters. Okay, next one. Correct? Working out wrong. Okay, let's check. Okay, your answer is right, but the working out. Yes? All right, let's check. How many, okay, the hint was given. How many grams is equal to one kilogram? 1,000. 1,000 grams is equal to one kilogram. So, seven over 20, uh, 720 of one kilogram. So, seven over 20 times 1,000 over one. We can simplify 20 and, I mean, cross simplify. Okay, here we are simplifying by what? 20. 20 into 20 is 1. 20 into 1,000 is 50. Okay, so if it's 50, then don't forget your numerator. You have to multiply what is remaining. 7 times 50 is 350. Over 1, 350, 250 grams. 350. Kilograms is the question. Grams. Because you see, the question is asking for only one kilogram. And if your answer is 350 kilograms, that doesn't make sense. Huh? Because how comes? Okay, so it's 350 grams. So don't forget the conversions. How many grams is equal to one kilogram? Hints. That, I mean, just remember those conversions. Okay, seven is and receiving students. Don't forget your units are very important. 12 kina. 
not 12 piglets, or just say 12, because 12 may mean anything. 12 cow cows, 12 what? Potatoes, 12 what? Piglets, 12 kina. All right, 70s, 70s, oh dear. Okay, so we'll s just go through, okay, the ending part of our lesson. Uh, receiving teachers, please. Your acti additional activities on page 40 and uh, 41 of your workbook. And not forgetting 42, I said, 40, 41, 42 of your workbook. So those are your activities which you can work on in your own time. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the lesson class. Our key phrase for today's lesson is class read. Okay, fraction of an amount. And thank you, 70s and receiving students, for participating in today's lesson.